tourism in Europe produces a massive amount of waste every year. Empty cans, plastic bags, car tires and bottles. When the tourists leave the beaches, that is what they leave behind. To draw attention to the problem, German artist H.A. Schult built the Beach Garbage Hotel in the center of Madrid. The five-bedroom hotel was entirely constructed from garbage with almost 40% of all materials washed up on the shores of Germany, England, France, Italy and Spain. Roughly 12 tons of garbage, including fishing nets, plastic bags, skateboards, clothing, old tires and even an old mannequin's leg. The guest rooms are very basic and simple with leaking roofs and torn sheets acting as curtains, but they do boast real furniture. The project is meant to show that unless we make some major changes in the way we treat the world's beaches, we'll one day be surrounded by garbage wherever we go. Circling the world, the three Mercedes-Benz B-Class F-Cells made their way through Spain. In Barcelona, a city that is truly committed to preserving natural resources, since the country has plenty of sunlight, solar power is the way to go. Most visible are the solar panels on City Hall, especially the photovoltaic pergola at the Forum Esplanade. Christian was there to take a closer look. Hola from Barcelona, where the F-Cell World Drive has arrived after 1,850 kilometers. The structure behind me is the solar pergola, an impressive mixture of art and solar plant. Let's find out more about it. The solar pergola provides energy for 100 households and it's a symbol for Barcelona's desire to play a leading role in sustainability, as Tony Pujol from the City Council tells me. The administration has created an artificial coral reef in the sea. Falcons have been reintroduced and now nest in the famous Sagrada Familia Basilica. There are eco-programs for every school in town and 60% of all new or renovated buildings' warm water supply must come from solar energy. We have put in place practices. We try to use less energy to save water and you can see the examples, you have the figures. But then with that we say, okay, we have done our homework and we want you uh, countries or at the, at the international level to, to do your homework. Driving around the world will take Christian and his team 125 days, but they will actually drive on only 80 of those days. And that means they have to be on the road an average of 320 kilometers or 200 miles a day. That doesn't leave too much time to explore the nightlife and party in every city. But one club to check out in Barcelona definitely is the Blub Lounge. Disco meets plants. The club mimics an undersea world with plants. The light shining onto the different elements is broken up into tiny shafts, resembling the rays of light under the sea, bathing every detail in an underwater glimmer. Architecture is a major factor in building a greener world. Award-winning architect Enrique Ruiz Geli from the architecture firm Cloud9 in Barcelona has designed some of the most innovative and sustainable buildings in Spain. Christian met him on the Media Tech Building, an information and technology hub in the capital of Catalonia. This man contributes a lot to Barcelona's reputation as an innovative city. Enrique Ruiz Geli, one of Spain's most famous architects. His most recent work is the Media TIC, an office building with one of the most unique facades in the world, covered with partly transparent layers of air cushions. According to sun exposure, these cushions are de or inflated, thus the relation of the transparent and non-transparent layers regulates the amount of sunlight coming in. Compared to a conventional way of building, the CO2 emission is reduced by 92%, even though the costs are the same. We wanted to do a building with the same cost as the market cost, to say, look, economy is not the excuse. Anthony Gaudi and his way of adapting architecture to nature has always been an idol for Enric, and he wants to follow and widen the vision of his famous predecessor. What you see here is a robotic fish developed by scientists at the University of Essex in the UK. The electronic sea creature was developed in northern Spain, now going on its first mission off the coast of Spain. A part of the larger European shoal project, the fish will be sent to swim in the sea and monitor for pollutants coming from a busy port. 
The F-cell drive, now on its last leg in Europe, will depart from Lisboa to the US in the end of February. Before they go, we will have some more stories on EchoTrack. See you next week. In the meantime, our world drive has reached Lisbon. And what you see behind me, hi, is not only the second biggest aquarium in the world, they also had some unique ideas here when inventing it. More on that next week on EchoTrack.